This next story, nothing short of a miracle. A man made a wrong turn, ending up on a road that led him right to a burning house. Inside were three children, sound asleep, under the care of their older brother while their mom handled a family emergency in Montana. Look at this video. The fire alarms in the house failed to go off. None of them knew their house was engulfed in flames. Now, Brendan Burt jumped into action. He pounded on the sides of the house. He banged on windows, doing anything he could to wake that family up. And finally, all the commotion woke them up and all three of the younger children ran outside, their older brother following behind soon after. All four of them escaped completely unharmed. Joining us now, the hero of the story, Brendan Burt, and the mother and father of those children, Tender and Chris Lehman. Thank you all for being here. I, I sincerely appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having us. Brendan, I want to start with you. When, when you saw that house engulfed in flames, what were you feeling in that moment? I just, you know, I just couldn't believe what I've seen. I've never seen anything like that in my life. So I just had to act real quick because I knew how bad it was about to get. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I had to assume that people were in there. You can't just assume nobody's in there. So it was like two in the morning. So I just did what I had to do and everything luckily turned out to be the way it was supposed to be. So. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, what made you even start banging on those windows? Because you didn't know anyone was home uh, for a fact, right? Was it just the natural next thing that you had to do? Yeah, just like, I don't know. I just knew I had to do something because it was just every second going by, I was getting worse. And uh, I don't know. It was just, it was like a movie. It happened so quick. I just had to act, you know? Absolutely. I can only imagine the adrenaline that must have been going through you in that moment. How long did it take before people finally started going out of that front door? And, and what was the relief that you felt in that moment? I'd say by the time I pulled up and uh, called the police, um, they probably took about five minutes to get there. So I'd say it took three to four minutes for those kids to get out. And about a minute later, the police got there and uh, they were already out the house. At that point, we were trying to get the dogs out. So me and Spirit, the um, youngest daughter, their youngest daughter, we went to the back door and I broke the glass and opened the door trying to get the dogs out. And I don't know if the dogs got out through the back or where they got out, but we ended up been, being able to get two dogs out of the house. So, Are, are all of the animals okay? No, we lost no. five of them. We lost our daughters, two ESA dogs and my husband's. And my dogs. I'm so sorry to hear about that. And, and certainly, Tender and Chris, so sorry to hear about your home as well. Can I ask, how were you feeling when you found out how your children managed to escape the fire? Well, I made a four hour drive in two hours. Yeah. It was, it was intense. Um, pulling up the ring video footage and watching it, I just, I was in shock. I couldn't, it was, it was horrible. But knowing they were safe, I mean, we're, we are sitting here and there's six of us in a camper and we still feel blessed. Yeah. Our community has been amazing. So. Absolutely. Tender, let me ask you specifically, is there is there anything that you want to say to Brendan? Oh, he knows. I've said it all to him. He is family. This man, He's family now. he has been in contact with my children every day. And I know that it's a healing process for him just as much as it is for my kids. Um, He's been there. He was invited trick or treat, and he's gonna be in all the Christmas cards from now on. <laughs> he's going with his mom and dad and grandma and siblings. He never had sisters before, I don't think. So, Brendan, you just gained a whole new family. Uh, how does that feel? I mean, I guess it's not the way nobody wanted it to be this way, but the fact that they're safe and they're found family now, it's like it's a good feeling. Yeah. You know, at this time, we're just trying to get, make sure everybody, you know, sends them money through GoFundMe or whatever anybody can do. You know. Whether it's 20 bucks, 100, whatever you can do just to help out because it'll add up. 100%. And I'm glad you mentioned that. We're pulling it up now. This GoFundMe has been set up, already raising more than uh, $6,200. Uh, who is helping you guys rebuild your lives? Is it people you know or are these just strangers who, who uh, want to pitch in? You know, we, we haven't been in this community for very long. So the vast majority of the community members that have, you know, pitched in and donated clothes and stuff like that, we don't know a lot of them. Um, the Oak Valley M. Animal Clinic here donated the cremations of our dogs. That was amazing. The ladies at MCMH, they've really pulled together. Um, but the vast majority of the donors on 
the GoFundMe are strangers. We don't know who they are, but we're so grateful for all of them. I mean, I know that it's a big goal, but you can buy a whole house here for that amount of money. And we need some place to live while we rebuild because we're going to rebuild. I hear you. You will rebuild. And Brendan, last question. What do you, what's your response to people who are calling you a hero? I mean, it feels good. Um, you know, it's like when you save someone's life, it's going to feel good. But at the same time, it's like they lost everything. So my mindset is just trying to help them, help them out as much as I can. So it's still not done, you know what I mean? Like, I can be a hero for what happened, but I'm still trying to be there for him, and it's going to be a long road, you know? He's still I sick. See it. It would have been it. worse if he's not been there. Mm -hmm. I see it, and I see that touch on the shoulder from Tender. Uh, and thank goodness for a wrong turn, Brendan, and thank goodness for you. Brendan Bird, Chris and Tender Lehman, I, I sincerely appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.